What if the patient is coming in with fever plus headache and neck pain, and that's leading us to have concern for possible meningitis? In that case, you know, should we just get the VP shunt tap? You know, it's right there, very easily accessible. Lumbar puncture would be uh, a little bit more hasslesome to obtain, and you know, we might not guarantee that we could get it. So why don't we just go for the very easily accessible part? So in this case, even if there is suspicion for meningitis, we should go for an LP rather than tapping the VP shunt because of a couple of reasons. So number one is sometimes when we're evaluating for meningitis and cephalitis, we have to send off quite a bit of CSF and VP shunt taps actually don't frequently allow you to get a ton of CSF out. And secondly, this is probably even more important is that let's say you have concern for meningitis and you end up tapping the VP shunt, but the patient does not end up having meningitis. Well, now you've basically put the entire VP shunt at risk for infection, basically for nothing.